Well, today we're going to head south in Washington. See some friends, see some goats, see some chickens, see some ducks, see some dogs. Who knows what we'll see? But you can come with us. So hop in the back seat and we'll take you with us down to southern Washington. Made it down south, and look who's here to greet us. Got anything to say? Maybe not. Absolutely beautiful down here. Birds are singing, sunshine is bright, the skies are blue. Pretty peaceful out here. I can see Mount St. Helens. I'll get your picture of that. Hear all those birds? Way out in the distance, right there. That's Mount St. Helens, the famous one that blew up. does a lot of chainsaw sculpture. Here's one that he's in the process of making. I'll show you some of the finished ones. My buddies. Is that your friend? This one's pretty amazing. When we first got there, I noticed that Dawn and Mark had deer just wandering around their yard. I thought, man, isn't that kind of cool? Keeping my distance, I was able to get my camera out there and photograph the deer. What peaceful creatures they are. The deer were cautious about me. I watched the deer and the deer watched me, but you know, I think both of us were curious about each other. Then there were the goats. Everybody enjoyed the goats, and they're such friendly goats. Everybody wants to pet and scratch the goats. They follow you around, they make funny noises. You just gotta be careful they don't chew on your shirt tails. Karen found a green frog. She picked it up, said hello, and set it free, and it hopped away. Running with dogs and goats makes you feel good. I think it cleans your soul. Albert Einstein once said, our task must be to free ourselves by widening our circle of compassion 
to embrace all living creatures and the whole of nature and its beauty. That guy knew what he was talking about. A lot of truth in those words. <laughs>